All right, we're going to rebuild an alternator. Well, first of all, you need to learn how to check the compression on an alternator. So we're gonna check the compression on it. All right, it's very simple. All right, okay. Now, wait, 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 before we check, before we do that, I'm gonna check the compression. You're gonna take the wheel, you're gonna spin it, right? And you put your hands over these two valves right here you should feel it sucking and pumping. It should be sucking on one side and pumping out the other side. All right? All right. So, is it pumping and sucking? Yeah. Okay. So we. Okay. So the compressor is good. I've been turning it. All right. Okay. Now, what's going to happen next is we're going to unbolt this 10 millimeter screw. Okay. Got it out of there. Pry that off. Okay. Now, on these compressors, there's a lock ring that you have to remove. All right. Which I we've already done it, but this is my 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 clutch set from Harbor Freight. If you don't know about the snap ring pliers, just go to Harbor Freight. Get this set right here. It has a couple of different attachments. These are the same, and th this, these two are different angles, and you have some straight ones. All right, now, see that? Okay, snap ring pliers, got it out. Might need a screwdriver to kind of, to kind of jimmy it from around the edge. All right now, you tap that sucker off there. All right, now. That is the the actual clutch itself bearing. and the bearing. All right. Well, this bearing doesn't look too good, so we're going to replace the clutch and the bearing. And uh, by the looks of it, this is our problem. Uh, it's done burnt up here. There's a, a a diode here. This is your positive. This should be your negative and uh i guess that's our issue so go ahead and try to unscrew that with the screwdriver if you can the screwdriver's behind you oh uh, uh give us a minute to find a better screwdriver and uh yeah it's not an issue the way you could tell people people say oh it's the all it's the compressor it's the compressor knowing that it's get hot it's getting hot uh you know everybody's gonna just assume it's the compressor the way you can tell if your compressor is actually good is very simple. You sit there and turn it, and if you feel it pulsing in and out, or there's some good amount of pressure sucking, then you're okay. Unless it's leaking, then you you won't feel it at all. So here we go. Oh, sorry. Your heart. Yeah. Give it a little tap with a hammer. Oh, do you have the right size? It's holding time. 